we've come to a test track just outside Milan in Italy, the spiritual home of reckless driving and flash cars. Here, technicians test the latest high-tech tyres designed to keep the fastest supercars in the world glued to the road. These tyres need to provide grip whether the road is baking hot concrete or rain-drenched tarmac, and they have to be tough enough to last up to 100,000 miles. A blowout at high speed can be lethal, so these things need to be pretty much fail-proof. And of course, they've got to give the driver a comfortable, controlled ride. So to find out about the incredible engineering that goes into making them, we're taking a look at a high-tech tyre plant where they tackle the problems with some ingenious gizmos and a small army of unstoppable industrial robots. Every tyre begins as a strip of rubber fed onto a drum. But rubber alone simply isn't strong enough to make a reliable tyre. So it's reinforced with strips of high-strength rayon fibre called ply. Most car tyres have two layers of ply, while high-performance aircraft tyres use as many as 30. Two inflatable bladders then force the resulting band of rubber and ply around two metal hoops, which will secure the finished tyre to the wheel. A couple of metal strips are added to the inner layer of ply, and the whole thing is then moulded into a familiar tyre shape. The result is what's known in the trade as a green tyre, which is odd because it's black. Green tyres are neither naive nor envious. They simply lack one crucial feature, tread. And getting the all-important tread involves a bit of pressure cooking. This requires another bladder which inflates inside the green tyre, forcing it to expand onto the tread moulds. Here's one doing its stuff without a tyre just to prove we're not kidding. This is the mould needed to configure the tread. The green tyre is pushed into the mould and the tread branded on. Told you! The tyre is then cooked in the oven at 135 degrees Celsius. And after just 12 minutes, it's ready to serve. Now, of all the problems you can imagine having when you're designing a new road tyre, here's one I bet you didn't see coming. Noise. Oh, this one's brilliant. I can hardly hear it at all. It's a horrid experience. You return home late, and as your Chelsea tractor pulls into the drive, the sound of the bally tyres wakes the neighbours. To help avoid this embarrassing situation, they are trying to design quieter tyres and are testing them in this soundproof chamber. If the technicians feel the carcass is too noisy, then we intervene on the tyre to lower the noise emissions. And this is how they do it. The tyre is placed on a treadmill to simulate driving along a highway. Then, as they spin the decks, sensitive microphones check out the grooves and feed their signals to a computer where the waveforms can be monitored. The good news is this tyre sounds like a hit. But there's another, tougher test it still needs to pass before the design is deemed a success. Despite the fact that this is a normal road tyre, it's about to be treated to the full racing car experience. Technicians program the computer to initially simulate the handling of a typical family car. But even at slow speeds, it's impossible to see what's happening to the tyre with the naked eye. So the technicians have come up with an ingenious solution. At the flick of a switch, the speed chamber is flooded with stroboscopic light. When set to the correct frequency, the flickering light makes it look as if the tyre has stopped moving, allowing the tyre doctors to inspect their patient while it's turning. But to find out what their design is capable of, the team have decided to ramp up the speed to a dizzying 350 kilometres an hour. That's faster than a jumbo jet at takeoff. Incredibly, rather than being shredded, the tyre remains intact. 
So, next time a driver pushes his car to the limit, he can do it safe in the knowledge that if he winds up spinning off the road, it'll be his own rotten driving and not a problem with his tyres. That's enough from the Fact Factory for now, but don't...